Okay, still working with our Shakespeare book as an example. We're going to now have a look at using the articles panel to organise the content before we export to the reflowable EPUB. Okay, so here we can see that I have my half title. So remember, this is actually something that we did for the print version. So we've got a half title, then we have a frontispiece, title page, uh, copyright page, and, uh, and the table of contents, and various other bits before we get to the main introduction to Shakespeare's life. Now, in order to export the EPUB to the reflowable format, we need to tell it what order we want the content in. Now, this content that we're looking at in the front matter part of the book is not threaded. So here's a, a title page with uh, various components built out of text boxes all grouped together. Similarly, um, the frontispiece with its caption. Um, because these items aren't threaded, uh, they're not threaded together, they're separate text boxes, we need to be able to um, indicate what order they're in. Let's just quickly dash forward to the content, the, sorry, the introductory text, and this is different because this is threaded, as you can see. You can see how the lines join up the text boxes. This is all one story, as it's called. Okay, so let's just move back into this area here and look at this. This is the articles panel. Now, in order to enter things into the articles panel, we simply drag the content onto the articles panel. So let's first of all drag this onto here, give it a name. Now, um, this isn't particularly significant, the naming of the articles. Um, it's only useful for you to know what you've actually got in the articles panel. Um, but what is important is this little tick box here because it's basically saying include when exporting. Well, no, we don't want we don't want the half title exporter. We don't want to use a half title in our ebook. So we can turn that off. Now let's move to the next page. This is our frontispiece group. I've got a caption together with the image, and I'm going to drag that into the articles panel. And we do want to include this. Here is my title page. We do want to include that. Here is my table. Uh, I'm sorry. This is my copyright page on the on the on the left, and I'm going to drag that onto the articles panel. And here is my table of contents on this side, as you can see, with page numbers. I'm going to drag that onto there, and again label it. Now, we don't want this table of contents to appear on the page within the reflowable ebook. Why? Because it's got page numbers, and page numbers will not be relevant in the reflowable ebook. They will have page numbers, but not these, because as we increase the font size or reduce the font size and so on, page numbering will move. So we don't want to include that, although it will still be a logical table of contents um, in the user interface of the e-reader. Moving on then, here we have um, our title for the introduction. So we just call it the title intro. Let's put the R in there to make it good. Okay, we do want to include that. And then finally, this all one threaded story, we just simply drag the first text panel there Um, by by including the first text panel, it actually includes the whole story, including uh, the, the anchored images. So images that are anchored within that text are part of that story, effectively. Now, the important thing to remember here before we move on is that uh, when you're using the book panel, and as you can see, I'm using the book panel with two InDesign documents inside it, 
the articles panel relates, uh, uh, or we need a new articles panel or a different articles panel for each of these um, items. So if I now look at the play itself, you'll see I've already got uh, an articles panel for that, which includes the uh, the starting title, the dramatis personae, and then the play itself, which of course, once again, is a fully threaded story from beginning to end. Let's go back to the introductory pages and just do one thing before we move on to export this to EPUB, just to explain one other thing. Okay, so this group here this is my group that represents the title page. Um, now I want to make sure, although this is text, I want to make sure that this doesn't break apart when somebody increases the font size. And in order to guarantee that this sits on the page exactly as I've uh, laid it out in InDesign, uh, what I need to do, just move that out of the way, what I need to do is to make sure under Object Export Options, which is under the Object Panel, that I include the EPUB type, which is full title. You'll see that I've chosen that from here. I also want to rasterize the container to make sure that I have one image built from this one uh, block. I'm turning it into a PNG graphic image. I'm aligning it to the center. I'm also inserting a page break after the image and I'm also customising the width to be 100%, so it's full width on the page, it will be as big as possible. OK, let's export this now um, to the Reflowable EPUB from the book panel. I'll just use my, my test file, make sure it's Reflowable. Now, there are a number of items in here that we, we need to be aware of, but for the moment, the most important thing uh, for this particular screencast to explain to you is that we want to make sure that the content order is the same as the articles panel. Not based on the page layout, but the same as the articles panel. Um, just to switch that out of the way uh, and just have a look over here, here's the articles panel. The order is what is important. I can drag these things, move these things around. For example, if you wanted to add a colophon page, you could even put that colophon page at the end of your InDesign document. But when you then add it to the, to the articles panel, you could drag it to the front if you would rather have it at the front. So the order is, uh, is the important aspect of it. Let's have a look at it now. Don't worry about these little warnings. I can deal with those later. So here we have it. So let's just move back to the frontispiece and the title page. Set out as I like. And then we have everything in the right order, including the play itself. And of course, the logical table of contents is in the book, but not, the page, not on the page itself. OK, thank you.